Like right away, right. first light. Right away. <laughs> like, I'm saying like you owe me 10 seconds, Shay. Alrighty, here we are back again. Shay and Gavin sitting on their stools, ready to talk at your faces. How you feeling? Day nine. Yeah. It's, you know, it's like nothing exciting. It's just the day before day 10. That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a big double digit round number. But listen, you gotta just keep stacking these days on top of each other. You gotta keep stacking the workouts on top of each other. Keep tuning in, come work out with us. We're here for you. Get in the comments below. It's a community. Chat with one another. If you're feeling discouraged or, you know, like you've lost motivation, say that. Just like write it down in the comments and people will see and be like, me too, but here's what I did. Here's a great song I listened to and it made me feel so motivated. I got up and ran a hundred miles. I'm gonna download that thing right now. All right, so day nine, chapter nine, we are blood brothers. Right there, give me a bounce, give me a bounce right there. So when me and Gavin started this 30 day challenge, we made a promise because you guys know I have to travel a lot for business and you know, I'm an international man of leisure. I have like surfboards, Never mind. what am I, that's stupid. <laughs> um, we, so we made a promise that for the 30 days we would stay together no matter what that we would work out together every single day for 30 days. That meant that if I had to travel to LA on business, that he was gonna come with me. So chapter nine, day nine, that's where we found ourselves on the beach of sunny Southern California, playing beach soccer and getting juices at Rainbow Acres. Do you remember that this summer? That was fun, huh? So today when Gavin goes over his tip of the day, he's gonna talk about celebrating your victories. And here on day nine, you might feel discouraged. You might feel like you haven't seen any changes in your body or maybe heaven forbid, the little number on the scale went up and you're like, I've been working out for nine days, why? Don't worry about those things. Uh, you've made it to day nine. You gotta celebrate those little victories. You have to give yourself a pat on the back for the things that you have done. So how did you feel, Gavin, when you finally won that money after the year? You talk about that in this chapter about when mom uh, actually, when we paid you. Well, I was, well, very excited that I got $100 and uh, I could eat sugar now, but I was kind of mostly excited that I actually set a goal, a very long-term goal that was very hard, but I worked at it and I completed it and I just feel very good about that. And it's something that I can say that I've gone a year without sugar. So. Do you think that year without sugar gives you confidence to set other goals that may be bigger and harder? Probably. like running a marathon or something like that. You just work at it every day and then we can just from there. Dude, amen. That's exactly what it is. That day in, day out, not quitting over an extended period of time. That, ladies and sisters, brothers and gentlemen, is the secret. If you can just incrementally work every single day, not eating sugar for an entire year. That's exactly what a marathon's like. Just putting in the training every day and not quitting, all right? And that's why we're doing this together as a team. That's why we're blood brothers. And that's why it's so helpful if you get somebody to do this with you. Do the challenge together. Find a friend, a brother, a sister, just grab somebody and become a team. And that's why uh, we're a team together. All right, so let's team up with Monica on the mat, shall we? Right, here we go. Welcome to day nine. Monica and the Shea Tarts here. Okay. Like band. <laughs> Monica and the Shea Tarts, I like it. It's all good. Okay, we got ladders today, right here. Three moves. It's like we're climbing a ladder. So we're gonna start at the bottom rung. Our bottom rung, it's actually at the top. Squat to lunge. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Squat to a lunge. Squat to a lunge. If you want to jump, you can jump, but you don't have to. Okay, so that's our bottom run. 30 seconds, then you get a 30 second break. Then we start over, climbing that ladder. So we do squat to lunges again for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna do ladder lunge plus a knee. Looks like this. Stepping out to the side, knee up. So 30 seconds on one side, and then we gotta do the other leg. 30 seconds on the other leg. Then we get a break. Then we're gonna climb the ladder one more time. Start at the bottom, then the middle rung, and diagonal chops. Hands up, we're gonna chop wood. Down, bring it back up, and chop down the other side. 
right? We can do that. Making an X. We got this? Mm -hmm. Brock, can you do that? Can you do this? Chop? Let's see, Brock. Cool. Chop the wood. Chop Ooh, the wood. Oh, perfect. Wood. Perfect. He's got we got it. it. Okay, that's it. Meet you on the mat. Get Here ready. All right, get up off your chair. It's time to climb the ladder with the shaytards. You ready? Okay, Monica. Okay, we start with that squat to yeah. lunge. We'll get your legs ready. I'll give you a few seconds to get ready. You got 30 seconds on your mark. Get set. Let's go. Squat and step back to lunge. Squat, other leg. Nice. Oh my heavens. Good. That is just brutal. <laughs> that is a real leg work right there. That so stepping straight back when you step back. Straight back. Good. These simple movements, you guys, will build your legs bigger than you can imagine. Just these right. simple air squat lunges. You got five seconds left. And time. You get a 30 oh. second break. So shake out those legs. That's the bottom rung on our ladder. And when we climb a ladder, we always have to start at the bottom, right? We so we're going to start. Now we at the same rung on the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, okay, get ready. After squat to lunge, we're going to add on the next run on the ladder. We've got to do squats first. On your mark, get set, and go. Squat, squat to lunge. Good. Deep bend in your knees. So Gavin steps straight back. Good job, Brock. Down and back. You got us. Take your time. It doesn't have to be fast. If you're feeling really good today, add some jumps. You want to jump with me, Brock? Perfect. Good job, girls. We got 10 more seconds. Three seconds, and then we're going to go to a lunge. <laughs> and time. Okay, second run on the ladder. Step out to the side and lift that knee up. Ladder lunge, knee up. Yeah, it does stretch. So big step. Good. Make sure that your knee doesn't ever go over your toes. We want to keep it back just a little bit to keep the knee safe. Breathe through them. We can do this. We can do hard things. Five more seconds and we'll go to the other leg. Two, one, switch legs. Other oh. side. Like right Good. away, switch legs. Right away. <laughs> right now, like, have switched legs. I'm saying like you owe me 10 seconds, Shay. That's what I'm saying. Stronger than we were yesterday, right? You'll thank yourself tomorrow. Good job. You got it. Wow. We're almost there. We're almost to a break in five seconds. And time. 30 second break. Whew. Hey, what do you guys say? One more time. Climb into the very top of the ladder. So we do everything we just did and we add on those chops. That, Brock, this is yours, right? The chops? We're going to do that this time. Okay, give yourself a little pep talk. Roll out your shoulders. We can do this. this we can do this. Set, so. No pressure. Here we go. It's the most important set. Yep, Ready? Let's go. Squat to lunge. We're pros at this one now. Good. Remember to pull your belly in and up. Keep your chest lifted. Is that the dance That is way advanced, yes. Advanced That's an oh MMA. Way That's an MMA ladder right there. <laughs> <laughs> or reg dancer ladder. All right, lateral lunges, let's go. We're Ooh. moving up this ladder. Step to the side, knee up. Which leg went first? Which leg did you use first last time? Just move. It doesn't really matter. We'll get them both in. Good job. Lift the knee a little bit higher, you guys. Get it up all the way. We got to work hard for these five minutes. We're almost ready to switch. Give me one more lunge and then switch legs. Other side, big step, knee up. Nice. Commit to making each move a little bit better than the one before. So on your lunge, let's go a little lower. On your knee, let's get a little higher. We're halfway. We got this. Woo. Sword's coming your way. Five more seconds. Three seconds. 
on time, get your hands ready, get your axe ready. Let's chop, diagonal, diagonal. If you wanna jump, you can jump. But get some power behind it. Chop like you mean it. Chop all those woods. Woo! <laughs> 10 seconds, a little faster. Chop that pile. Good. <laughs> Anger management right there. Woo! You made it. Good job, you guys. Right. Awesome job. We made it. Good work, Woo! everybody. Good job. You did it. You're gonna start feeling better. I know you are. We gotta chop the wood. Chop the wood. Drink lots of water. Ow, See you tomorrow. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Gavin's Tip of the Day, day nine. And today we're gonna talk about setting goals and achieving those goals, but rewarding yourself for achieving those goals. So when you set a goal, you want to reward yourself with something good. So let's say, for example, I went a whole year with no sugar, pop, or candy, or all that stuff. And I got $100 from my parents. That was my reward for, doing, for setting a goal and achieving it. You can do that too. But notice how reward has a little star. So does this one. It says no food items. What we're going to try to stay away from is rewarding yourself with food items. Let's say like... Oh wait, I worked out for nine days. I can go out and get a milkshake or something like that. You want to try to stay away from food items that won't help you. And you want to try to go for the positive items that will help you set achieve your goals better. For example, like new workout clothes that you can do some workouts in and work out in with us. Um, new headphones that you can listen to good music or inspirational music to help you through the day or of just for working out and stuff like that. Or you can do you can get some sports slash gym equipment to help you work out or you can get like a like a new soccer ball that's probably what i would get or like a new ball or something like that um thank you for listening today and just remember try to reward yourself with positive things that will help you achieve uh, later goals and not try to reward yourself with food items that may help you not achieve your goals thank you for listening gavin's tip of the day check out this week's recipes and we'll see you guys tomorrow down, don't slow down, gotta pick yourself up, make your family proud. Up, down, don't slow down, gotta keep it moving, better get your head up in the clouds.